Time now for today's Health Watch. It may feel like the pandemic is over, but for some, its impact could be felt for years to come. Local 5's Connie Feldman shares the very latest research on what's called long COVID. As the government prepares to declare the end of the public health emergency on May 11th, Concerns are growing about people who got COVID-19 but never got rid of the symptoms. It's called long COVID, which means symptoms last for more than a month. But for some people, their health has been impacted for years now. Here's the very latest research on what could be a lifetime of COVID-caused health problems. That night, my oxygen level dropped really low. I didn't think I was going to make it. That was the beginning, but Julie's COVID-19 symptoms lasted long after she tested negative. It affected my heart, my lungs, my nervous system. A year and a half later, Julie's life is still not back to normal. It feels like someone is taken and they're just squeezing my heart. Epidemiologists are finding long COVID is more than just a respiratory disease. In some patients, it can manifest as heart attacks or heart failure. It also impacts a patient's brain. A lot of patients are actually having strokes, with, uh, and we found that people are having brain inflammation. You know, people are having symptoms that are almost reminiscent of Parkinson's disease or early Alzheimer's disease. In fact, people who suffer long COVID are at an increased risk for 44 conditions of the brain. Analyzing 150,000 COVID patients, doctors also found long COVID can cause a spike in cholesterol and gastrointestinal problems, ulcers, GERD, and it can impact liver function. It's really pretty much a lot of different things that can manifest differently in different patients. And some people may feel the effects for the rest of their lives. Long after this pandemic recedes from public view, we're going to be left with the legacy or the aftermath of this pandemic. With the government ending the public health emergency for COVID-19 on May 11th, it means that responsibility for payment for COVID vaccines, testing and treatment will switch to insurers. Depending on your insurance, you may have to pay a copay for the vaccine testing and treatments related to COVID-19. Over-the-counter tests will no longer be covered. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 5 News.